Hmm. Okay. Yesterday I uh, I did a I did a, a recorded um on the bus, you know, because I often use the app to uh, check the sound pr pressure level, um, as well as uh, the RTA. It shows frequency. Um, uh, third octave. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, as well as uh, I was using other apps and you know looking at the um, vibration level you know or such like a Richter scale um, so I'm uh, playing back the video now and uh, I've noticed uh, the frequency response is it, it, the, the phone uh, captured nicely on the recording um, anyway, so I'm just going to play back, um, of course the, the sound, pr uh, the, the level playback is, is going to be, you know, not the same like, you know, because, you know, the, uh, when the bus came idle, uh, to a stop, the, the engine sound pressure level, um, Increased a bit more uh, up to 107 dB with um, maybe uh, 30 hertz or 32 hertz. Well, 32 hertz it's going to show on there, but this third octave. So really, the peak peak might be a little bit different. Really got to use the um, oh, what's it? The um, uh, rem. I might switch to the REM and have a look and see what the frequency is, but there uh, it goes. Um, or oh, almost. Um, just point that over there. Put the RTA up. Uh, okay. And, um, oh, we've got it on the eight. Uh, so at the moment mostly there was still frequency range in this in this position so I've got the sub turn off at the moment and I've got the crossover set a little bit uh, high on the on the on the on the um, the, the, the low end of the of the frequency response uh, just to filter out so um, I could use the sub uh, you know because it's not like a 5.1 mix you know it's only a stereo mix uh, it's only going through the multi-channel stereo mode so I've got my uh, my voice there there and there but it's more centered there it's kind of phantom it's still stereo it's still stereo so go put, put the RTA back up. Let's put the sub on. <coughs> oh yeah. But the lower low low should be elevated a bit. Yeah, but here it is. Look at that peak. The frequency one third octave is around and thirty dB, which probably suggests it's probably. Yeah, it's only about 75, it's only about 75 dB sound pressure level. You know, I don't think I want to play it back with, like, um, because I'll have to adjust all the other part of the frequency range. You know, I had to wear earplugs and when pressing down, you know, with the earplugs, it you know just to it did minimise the pressure of the thirty, the thirty. Well, let's have a look. Um. Oh yeah, I think that's going over a speed, speed bump. Or a bumpy, bumpy road. Wow, this is a damn good recording on this phone. I mean, wow. I mean, it is better than a Dolby Atmos mix. I, I, yeah. Okay. 
heavy uh, frequency. Um, nice bit, there's really nice detail. I mean, it's, it's better than watching the film Speed. It is better than watching that film Speed where, oh, God, that, it's an okay mix, that film, but really it's not that brilliant. <laughs> this this is like the real thing. That is, if that was production recording, that is damn good. And it picks up my voice fairly clear, my dialogue, you know, and the phone distance um well was um about this distance which i think i'm not sure but the yeah. where you sit on the bus yeah yeah about about this distance same distance or maybe about that it might be a little bit closer maybe 12 inches one one foot Sometimes when I play a sine wave, the the sine wave frequencies, you know, sometimes yeah, the thirty two hertz, the around the thirty hertz range and such, it does pressure my ear and it feels uncomfortable if it's loud. If it's if it's less, it, it you know, it's it's okay, it's pleasing, it's nice, it's not unbearable. <laughs> Play back a little bit. It's about under 100 Let's activate the. Okay, this Let's activate the RAM. Uh, go to RTA. Let's turn that peak level off. Okay. Yeah, it's about the peak frequency is about twenty nine point eight kilo, twenty eight twenty nine point eight um, hertz. So, all right. If, let's, let's, play, let's play that again. Let's play that again. Hang on. Go back. Go back. Go back. Where? 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 Where, where are we? Uh, ba -ba play that back again. So yeah, yeah. It was. It's too bad the, the app on the phone is only a third octave. It could be a spectrum one where it would show a bit. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, move it a little bit. Yeah, between, between 29 point, uh, 29 point to about 30 hertz, boom, spot on. Of course, this is going to show a little bit more lower than the uh, than this RTA because it only goes to 25 hertz. Even with earplugs, it hasn't sort it's picking up some infrasonic low low end here, and uh, I think Hollywood should take note, you know, because they don't they don't put a lot of that in the film speed. I can tell you that, you know that that film is just, you know the 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 the, the star of the film is the sound or the bus the bus the sound of the bus or sort of thing for most part of the film, but. You know, all the vibrations you get sometimes when you go over bumpy roads or a speed bump. I mean, it's not going to do... Well, I suppose if I use my bass shakers in the sea, um, might give me some... I don't know, I'd be surprised how, how well... I can play back the audio on the sound system when I get back. 
That's the first time I've done this to sort of like, because I'm always curious to see what the frequency response is. And yeah, there it is again. Boom. Same frequency. Same frequency up. Same frequency up there. Kind of oscillating. There. And and when the bus goes in transit, um, pitch of the engine changes. You can also feel gear shift changing sometimes. But it picks up picks up my dialogue. My my voice is picked up okay, nice and clear. There might be a, a null frequency where it nulls and doubt it. But I would probably have to use the EQ or maybe any of the settings on the, on the sound system to adjust um, the level of my voice down a little bit. So, you know, it's sort of like, you know... But uh, on the on the uh, nice shaker uh, for the Richter scale. Yeah, I'm now I'm talking about the Richter right scale. It says somewhere between four point five and five on the Richter scale. Four point five and five on the Richter scale. <laughs> That's like. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Earthquake, the film been sensed around well I think I read somewhere it should be like 10 on the Richter scale what the fuck <laughs> I think if it was 10 on the Richter scale the bus would be doing uh, fucking falling over and everything a little bit more I tell you, even that film, uh, what's it? That 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 really rubbish movie. Uh, what's it called? Um, Terminator Genesis, where they're on the bus scene and the, the Terminators crawling underneath the bus and uh, they're shooting holes. And then he's on the roof and they're shooting. Uh, I mean, really, that that's that bus scene. Really, that the sound the sound mix on that is just rubbish. It's 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 an okay it's an okay mix but really it's fucking rubbish because there's a heck of a lot of detail that's just I don't even notice it in the mix it's just like really it's it's like amateur you know sometimes it's the directors you know you know I think sometimes I don't think they got a bloody clue. Oh. But when you, you're going over road surface, you're going to have so many, you know, and all the the wheels, the suspension, uh, and um, the, the, the dust that's attached to all that suspension. You get all these different, and you get resonant frequencies traveling through the, the, um, the vehicle, the... The, the the engine sound pressure uh, resonant frequencies from the the engine oh cr a whole lot a whole lot yeah it, it it really gets to me the the bus engine but if this were a coach totally the opposite it be the total opposite. It, the engine noise would be a lot more quiet, a lot more softer. I think buses are built cheap. Built built nice, but kind of maybe a bit 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 cheap in ways. Otherwise, yeah, they could really make the engines a bit more, um, you know. Because I'm surprised no one else bitches and moans about the blooming thing, you know, like. I even asked the bus driver when I got off the bus, I said, does it ever bother you that you, um, you know, on the bus every day that you're, um, you know, 
you listening to this boom 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 you know when you come to a you know and you must notice it and then all the you know when you move and it's like you know but you know bus drivers you know what i mean uh, they only do so many hours you know and then you get someone else then taking over doing the other shit part of the shift otherwise fucking hell if you're on that doing that eight hours a day with that run around well, 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 fucking hell i think that would drive you nuts it would drive me nuts. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but it's not like, uh, I think, like a tank. I think being inside um, um, someone I know, um, he's, he's, he's in the armed forces, I think. Uh, I don't know if, if he still is, but... Um, he 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 went in a t- you know he told me about the tank experience was bloody loud because he knows i'm into sound and such and he told me it was just you know you got you know, even still with the blimmin um you know it you could still you know obviously hear it but it's bloody loud i can imagine um i don't think i want to mm, pass I, 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 I live quite happy without that fucking I mean I like sound but fucking hell not when it's like when it hurts the pressure hurts your ears um, that's just you know that's going to damage your hearing um, I think anyone out there wants to play these things at like the you know the actual sound level i don't think i want to play it back to 107 i might take it up to that sort of level and maybe put in the earplugs and see if mm, yeah and then put on the ear defenders and see what happens as well as pressing on and trying to duplicate but you know just for a short period and i might do that later again the day later in the day but that's interesting that the frequency response came out. Hmm. Um. Also, the phone. <coughs> I'm not sure what the uh, the frequency response. I might do a, um put it up close to the speaker and uh, run a frequency sweep, <coughs> and then play back the video. Uh, with the microphone or um. I could play it back so I get a direct uh, frequency response going through the uh, processor into the RTA so it's direct rather than microphone pick up. So I could look at um, how generally to see what the the frequency response coverage is on on the phone Um, because I know they're smart and, you know, I don't know what microphones they're using on this thing. Fuck, I don't have the phone, the clue. I know they're very tiny. <laughs> it's obvious looking at the thing uh, compared to, um, you know, the, the little microphone that, that's in there. Um, that, that's, you know... Yeah. Um, yeah, these ones are like... Uh, like well, um, I don't know. Um, I, I I think they're a bit smaller than your ear membrane in your ear, um, which is kind of kind of like that shape. Um, when you pinch your nose and blow. You you can see you can see with the light that's in your ear canal. You can see it moving forward and then back. Um, and all, yeah, you can see the little um, the little bone that's against the ear membrane. Um, <coughs> oh no no no! I think these, crikey, whatever they are, I th- I think these phones were, or the technology go in these things was probably ex-CIA equipment or something like fucking Mission Impossible, you know? Um, you know, because, um, hmm. 
Yeah, you could use this stuff for co covert sort of stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, I'm I'm surprised the pickup of the microphones are pretty good. I still uh, I like to use the phone for some astro through astro photography to see if it versus the DSLR and see how how it captures. Yeah, I won't be sup. I I I will I will I will. I will, I will I, I probably won't be surprised um, with the detail. Um, but yeah, that's good. That's a good result. That's a good result. That's what, that's what I wanted to see. And next, uh, I've just got to try with the bass shakers and see what, what it's like. Anyway, video's gone on 20 minutes now, so I'll conclude with the test uh, later on.